I'm Peter. I'm I'm the anti-fascist. Uh, but feminist. Uh, anti-feminist. Sorry. Can you each take turns of defining what that what? means for you? I view feminism as. That's weird that he said, bro. He made it seem like feminism is it, what? What is he equating it to? Fucking fascism? Like what the hell? As a social movement advocating for the equality of all genders. My view is anti-feminist. We were born and raised, and actually we tend to lean in toward, towards those traditional ways, so. Why do you think we brought these two groups together? It's really relevant today. There's a lot going on in the climate, so I feel like there's maybe even tension between women in general because of it, yeah. so. Should we start with the shot? Sure. Sure. What are some stereotypes you've heard? Among Us was offline TV? No, they're drinking. They asked me. And I told them no, because I don't want to drink. It's haram, bro. It's haram. I've heard about feminists. Like I imagine somebody with like hairy armpits and like has period pad earrings, and I'm like, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> What makes you, like, <laughs> feel that way? I don't know. I feel like the media, mostly. Sports bras and tiny pants and heels and trying to just go above and beyond to make it known that it's my body, I can do what I want with it, and you can't do anything. I don't have sports bras or, or tiny <laughs> heels. Or... You're, you're not wrong. I, stereotype, not yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about body empowerment and doing everything you can with your body with whoever you please instead of waiting for the right person or ignoring the other sluts. people. <laughs> not sluts, but that not following, let's say nicely, the Ten Commandments per se, you know. Who gets laid more? Bro, in cut, in the cut universe, like even the fucking anti-feminists they find are like light. I was expecting some jubilee ass shit. You know what I mean? Like people coming in, like these are just like normie anti-feminists. You know what I mean? They're not like internet anti-feminists, it seems. Like they're not talking about how like women are fucking, I, I don't know, like trying to kill men by existing. Maybe they'll get more aggro the more drinks they have, but it seems like, it seems like they're pretty fucking light. In their commentary. Well, hold on, I gotta pee. More feminist or anti feminists? Uh, I would have to say feminists, anti feminists typically have a stereotype of not exactly being sympathetic or empathetic towards women. I can see that, but at the same time, I don't see how being uh, anti feminist would delay a person from being sexually active. It's all stereotypes, but. I mean, I would like to hope that everybody's having some share of affection or love. Who gets laid more, feminists or anti-feminists? <laughs> I think feminists, just from what I've heard, especially from uh, friends of mine that are women, when they're on dating apps and such, they have someone that they think is, you know, in that kind of sphere of not a feminist or is a Trump supporter or something like that, then they'd swipe left. Are you a Trump supporter, Bailey? 110%. I, I think he did a really good job at running the country. Since we're talking about feminism, what do you think of his comments on women? Um, you know, people do say things and do things, and I don't think that people should be held accountable, especially for things that happened, you know, years and years and years ago. People can say things and still be kind, genuine people. Um, this is a tough question. Oh, God. Why do you hate women? What? <laughs> Is that really it? Is the question. My answer is I do not hate women. At That's all. a good answer. <laughs> Why do you hate women? I don't hate women. The things that they're trying to stand for, I just think is a little ridiculous. We, there's been so much w women? time of us doing the same thing. She said, like, I don't hate women, but the things that they're trying to stand for, I don't really agree with. Would we want to change that? I wouldn't say I hate women. I just believe in. I'm not going roles. back to the last segment. So I, no rewinds. I need to make this very, very clear. I do not hate women. Every woman's beautiful in their own way. I think the definition of feminism has changed. 
over the last 60, 70 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. No, he, he's a he's a third way feminist. I've seen it move towards focusing on women's rights and their reproductive rights towards being really like this type of attitude towards feminism is pretty funny. It's like saying I'm a classical liberal. You know what I mean? Which is it's the same energy. Oh, I'm a classical liberal, actually. It's like, I want to be a liberal at a time where you could own black people as slaves. Like, that's the type of liberalism I'm on board with. It's like, oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for finding a new way to explain to me that you're fucking racist. Like, uh, is truly unique. This guy said, I, I'm a feminist because, like, I think women's rights should have stopped once white women could vote. You know what I mean? None of this, like, workplace shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Go back. Okay, I'll make a concession. Secretary jobs only. Okay? Like, nobody nobody ever, like, thinks through their arguments. Like, you want to you wanna ask this guy, be like, so what, what exactly do you have an issue with, like, uh, the current wave of feminism? Not like he's going to say some insane shit right now. Like, oh, yeah, the new way feminism is about like shitting on men or blah, blah, blah. But it's like hateful towards men and their ideals of what is masculine and what isn't. Yeah. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you agree with the principles of feminism, but you don't agree with a certain segment of feminists who you perceive to be more man hating than. Pre-watch Piger, bro, I pre-live it, dude. I mean, this is the type of shit. That I deal with on a daily basis here at the broadcast. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I've heard it all, man. They are about advocating for equality. Yes. This is a patriarchal society that is antithetical to what feminism says, which is uh, we should all be equal. Define, it has in quotations, a woman. Define a woman? Yeah. Hmm. A woman itself is anyone who believes that they identify as. What the fuck? Middle Ground explores whether two groups of people are opposed and their beliefs can come together empathetically and find Middle Ground. Production is Saturday, June 19th. They're looking for socialists, streamers, interest in the current political climate. Hmm. Who are they looking for? No, I'm not doing a random Jubilee, man. I don't have time for that. You're crazy. As a woman. I mean, gender to me is a social construct. I yeah, do feel do the it. definitions are hard, yeah. but I do feel that a woman is somebody who was born with a vagina. That's, that's my definition of a woman. When you're defining words, it can be super tricky to like get the actual definition. Like, how would you define a chair? Uh, well, it has. Oh, oh he's good. Ooh, he's gonna, he's gonna hit him with the, oh, four, four legs. Oh, he's such a debate Lord. Oh, oh, something with four legs that you can put things on. All of a sudden, boom, a dog is a chair, huh? Like a seat and a back and four legs. So a horse is a chair. Which group is more racist? Ah! I know all the fucking, I know all the techniques, you motherfuckers. I know everything that you're about to say before you say it. Fucking logic. Just and why? Oh boy. Is it slam dunk for me, but I'm curious. I think anti-feminism is really pretty racist. I would agree. I'm more liberal on the side of anti-feminism. I think a lot of people who are more, um, more traditional are more racist towards that fact and are yep. willing just to stay with their groups. Why does racism have to come into it? Some of the first feminists were extremely racist um, and did not want to include people of color at all in the things really? that they were fighting for. Yes, that's why. Well, you just taught me something new. <laughs> <laughs> that's why women of different races were allowed to vote at different time periods throughout history. Honestly, don't know. Bro, she's like, damn, thank you for giving me shit to, to add to my arsenal of why I'm an anti-feminist. She's, you know her ass is going to be doing that fucking junk history shit. Like, did you know early feminists were racist? It's like, okay, but they're not now. So, like, what? But you're now. You're here right now. Also, that didn't stop black women from at, for advocating for the, for the suffrage movement. Like, they did. You know what I mean? Black women weren't like, wow, the overwhelming majority of the suffrage movement is like anti, anti black. So like, let's not get, uh, we're anti feminist now. 
You know what I mean? Like, they were not. What the fuck? I'm going to just take a shot. Because I can't answer that question. Can you answer the question? Yeah, I'd say generally I think anti-feminists are more Yeah, racist. I figured you'd say that. Why? Because there's typically um, a lot of beliefs that tend to go together. I disagree. I, I mean, and personally, I don't see skin color. You're a mm. human. I think it's an outdated phrase to say, I don't see color. And, and that was born out of not recognizing the different experiences people go through. For your, your case, you're saying you like to have a traditional kind of household. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with that if that's what you want. Mm -hmm. It's more about if you are trying to tell others the way that they should live and you're advocating you know, politically, voting for people or wanting laws to get passed that keep things a certain way, that restrict people. Why change something that's worked so for so long? Maybe works for some people. Why are feminists not getting right? It's not about us versus them. Feminism at the end of the day is about the ability for us to be able to work together and pick the best viable person to do the job no matter what gender they are. Do you remember when Trump first got elected and there were the women's rights riots? Yeah. And people had like the little pink hats with the cat ears, with the pussy hats. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I don't know what they were called. It makes me think a lot about white feminism and the way that feminism is expressed. Like me included too, have to like check themselves at every point and be like, am I, am I listening to people more marginalized than me? Or am I like getting really excited about a movement and like doing something performative, like wearing a pink hat with cat ears and yeah. Give feminists one compliment or take a shot. I'm taking a shot on that one. <laughs> Let's take a shot and I'll give you all a compliment. Clink, clink. I will say that I think feminists, radical or not, are real strong. Try to beat one down with your words. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I think feminists are amazing in the way of they've made birth control, condoms more accessible, and I think as well as promoting there being male birth control as well. All right, game's over. Woo! All right. Um, how was that? That was really fun. Good, Good conversation. conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's conversations that people need to have. Yeah, I liked it. That was yeah. good. It was way, I was prepared for way worse. Cool. Better than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, they were prepared for way worse because the internet has broken our fucking brains. All right, let's watch this red failed uh, video. Uh, some of you will watch the top of the hour ad break, and then we'll do Bramble, a scary game. Um, top of the hour ad break is upon us. I'm not so even red doing fall a is, I don't know why I'm so fucking tired. I think I need more coffee. Good as Red Dead Redemption? Yes. No. Why is her hand like this? Sorry, I'm spacing out today. This is like an animatronic you'd see at like the Disney World ride. Ladies and gentlemen, the impossible has just been done. The iconic character, Ryan, from Dead Island 2 has finally been surpassed by Martha. <laughs> from Redfall. 